So the device is, is the next evolution in ultrasound technology. Essentially what we've done is we've leveraged the innovations that have gone on in the cell phone. And so what you can see is the cell phone just docks into the ultrasound device at its bottom. And it's the cell phone that powers the ultrasound. It's the cell phone that functions the screen. It's the cell phone that functions as the communicator as well and transports the images. And so what we've done is we've been able to really focus on doing an ultrasound exactly what it needs to do and nothing else. So we've simplified it while preserving the quality of the images. And this has allowed us to make it affordable and more accessible than ever before. And so for the first time, women at home and then other indications as well will be able to use this device. Well, let's see exactly how it does work. I'll get Daniela to start preparing, putting the gel on. She's six months pregnant, ladies and gentlemen, although she, as I mentioned, she doesn't look like she is. Now, Jordan, just you just mentioned it then, you touched on it, that this is a more cost-effective way. Just explain to us how, how much easier, the different benefits that there is of being able to do your uh, ultrasound at home. Yeah, so I, there are really three principal benefits um, that we're allowing here. The first is, particularly with pregnant women, um, you know, if outside of office hours, they get anxious, they're concerned that they haven't felt the baby in a while, and their only recourse is really to go to the emergency room. And on average, in Israel at any case, about two to three times on average, a woman will go to the emergency room, 90% of which are false visits and were really unnecessary. The second benefit is, as you mentioned, with COVID and all of the telemedicine that is going on, this is a great time to keep women out of the office and allowing them to do 60 or 70 percent of the normal prenatal visits from the comfort of their home. The mode, the device has two modes. One is an online communication via Zoom or some other telemedicine application where the physician can see uh, and be interactive. And then the other is offline mode where outside of that a woman can do the scans and all of which get uploaded to the cloud, sent to the physicians for interpretation. Now, Daniela is doing performing that ultrasound right now. Daniela, tell us, as from your point of view, having to use this device, talk to us about how this whole process works. It's amazing. It's so easy to use. Basically, they walk you through step by step how to do it on your own and how to do a call with a physician. And you press, basically press play, and I'm able to see the baby very clearly and um, the heartbeat and the limbs and the placenta and they take you through the step-by-step wow, -step process. I can see it from where I am. I don't know if we can get a glimpse of it because if you take that off your stomach we're not going to be able to see it are we? Uh, no, so yeah. unfortunately. But you can see it very very clearly. Wow. Her hands, her legs, spine and um, and the heartbeat which is the most important I think for, for a mom. Absolutely, that certainly is. Now, tell us, when is this, this has been rolled out already, has it? So it's now fully developed. It's also, we've done several studies here in Israel with, uh, with Klalit, with over 100 women, to show the quality of the images and what's able to be seen. We then were approved in Europe, subsequently approved in Israel. And really, I think what brings us here is we're announcing a strategic collaboration with Klalit that is making the single largest purchase order of ultrasound devices ever by using 20,000 of these devices to be able to offer it to all pregnant women in their system at a subsidized at a subsidized rate. Now, just very briefly, we've got a minute left, but how, you, we mentioned the effect that this has on pregnant women. What effect does this have on medical practitioners? Ah, so I was saying that, you know, in the externalization of visits, so if you can remove six or nine of the 12 or 13 prenatal visits, you know, that certainly helps logistically and cost effectively in terms of this. Physicians will have complete control over the device in the sense that the woman will be at home with it, but the activation only happens when physicians send codes, either on online mode or offline mode. So it is all integrated into, into the system and being embraced by, by Clalit in that fashion. Well, it's absolutely incredible. And Danielle, she looks, I don't know if it's a he or she just yet, but she, she looks just, just like, like you. I think so too, I agree. <laughs> All right, Daniela and Jordan, thank you both so much for joining us.